Many of our communities are already moving forward, taking economic matters in their own hands in sectors like clean energy, like technology, like a rock, and I know the Prime Minister talked about a log, like a rock that sits in the middle of that road, a boulder that blocks the path of collaboration remains, as we've been saying here, the Indian Act along with the age-old structures and policies that administer it and steadfastly resist change. And today, First Nations look to smash this status quo in tangible ways, seeking support for our pursuit of self-determination, not the limitations of departmentally driven policy and process. We seek fairness and respect for the rule of law, and this means recognition of our land rights and our title. Policies of denial and extinguishment have no place today and have cost Canada and First Nations billions in legal fees and lost opportunity as claims languish, blocking development of both our economies and indeed that of Canada. We struggle under layer upon layer of wasteful bureaucratic interference. Useless and expensive controls are piled upon our people, squandering tax dollars and frustrating change. Now we must turn this around increase the rate and pace of change so that all First Nations children can achieve success. We see today's gathering as only the first step in a commitment to a renewed relationship. Next must come the new fiscal relationships that guarantee and deliver sustainable, equitable services based on mutually agreed standards and shared responsibility. We need to build new structures and processes that affirm our relationship and uphold our responsibilities to one another. Structures that guarantee our ability to make the decisions that affect our lives and our lands. Agreements that allow us and the government of Canada to assume their responsibilities. Today our young entrepreneurs, together with partners, can generate economic levers that rebuild our economies. At the same time, we must not forget the basic and very urgent needs that touch families most closely. As neighbours, we, we must all find a sense of community and extend a helping hand. So I can say with confidence, with certainty, that our work and the vision of our ancestors is not only possible, that it is underway. If we do our work here, together, seriously, sincerely, if we follow it with a shared commitment to maintain and monitor progress toward the goals that we set out here, we will make that transformation. This is our time. It's our time to press forward, to push harder, to make real change. This is a struggle for the most vulnerable amongst us. This is a struggle for First Nations children from coast to coast to coast. Our success will be Canada's success. Our future is Canada's future. The step we take to today, recalling the words of my late grandmother, an ability to see one another is the first step. This recognition opens all possibilities. The possibility of a renewed dialogue as partners. A dialogue that honours who we are as nations and honours the spirit and intent of our treaties. A partnership that realises the potential of Canada. A country founded on partnership and on respect. We made this country together. We can remake it in the spirit and the vision of our ancestors. And I invite all Canadians to join us. Let us ensure at this historic moment we do begin to rebuild trust, to renew faith and to reconstruct the partnership of nations so courageously forged by our ancestors centuries ago. And in closing, I paraphrase our collective ancestors, more wise than us, upon concluding the agreement of friendship and alliances depicted in the gift that we presented here today, they took up the silver chain to represent the bond created and said, if ever that chain should tarnish, slip, or break, we must together brighten and strengthen it anew. This must be our collective pledge to move forward in strength and support, to create a better day for our children, and indeed all of Canada. Mr. Prime Minister, First Nations are ready to meet this challenge. We need and want Canada to work with us. Thank you.